Hi guys, welcome to Food Satisfaction. Today I'm making um, a dish that our family really likes to eat. It's actually kind of a stew, I guess, or you know, it's kind of a pulled meat. I don't cut the meat in uh, small cubes. I keep it big. This this is a bottom uh, blade roast, a boneless one. Okay, um, it's a, quite an inexpensive cut of meat, and um, it makes. Uh, a great big dinner, a hearty one for um, cold winter months. Um, so usually we either eat it with um, brown rice or spaghetti squash on the side because um, it has a nice sauce, a wine sauce with it. So essentially we have this um, beef spice, steak and beef spice from Schwartz, um, our smoked meat uh, house here in Montreal. You can use any steak spice I am, I'm assuming, so um, this is my favorite. Um, I put that on top of um, the meat that I cut here. I have about 1.6 kilos, I guess, or five. Um, this is going to be meal for a couple of people, <laughs> a big family, and then um, for a few servings, I'm sure. Then I have some mushrooms, some leek, and some thyme here. Um, I also have dehydrated onions, um, some garlic cloves, and some smoked paprika, a bit of tomato paste small bottle of wine you can use a big one if you want red wine and everything um, first of all i will sear the meat in my um, pot that's going to go in the oven i'll sear the meat then i'll add all the veggies and the herbs and the spices and the liquid i'll close the lid bring to boil and then bring it into my oven at 200 to 25 um, degrees and then really low the lowest setting that you can have and keep it there for i don't know two hours three hours and then it's probably better to eat it later in the day. Okay guys, I know it's a little bit loud. Um, so here you have the seared meat on the bottom and then you have all the rest of the stuff on top. The mushrooms, the leaves, the thyme, um, the spices, and I'm gonna add my wine. As you can see here. Now, that's perfect. Now there's the, see how much the liquid there is? It's not reaching the top, so I'm going to just add a little bit more. I'm going to add water, okay? Just one cup I added because I had a lot of meat. Even this small bottle usually is for half the amount of meat. So that should be fine. We're going to close the lid on that. So I'm going to mix it first. I'm going to close the lid on that, and we're going to put it at about 200, 225 Fahrenheit in the oven as soon as um, it starts to boil vigorously. All right, and uh, I'll show you the finished product at the end. Just a quick note, the steak spice has a lot of salt in it already, so I wouldn't add any salt nor any pepper because, like I said, steak spice is made up of salt and different kinds of pepper. So please, do not add anything at this point. Wait till the end and taste it. Okay. Okay, folks, so here's the finished product. Um, I put a little bit of cornstarch uh, slurry in the, um, in the sauce there. Um, and as you can see, the meat is quite tender. It breaks apart. It's slower that you cook it the better it is um, and here I have a bed of spaghetti squash and I made some uh, homemade coleslaw um, and just because of nice acidity with this um, wine sauce would be good wine gravy so that's a piece for Gad and then let's see for another um, smaller piece because that one's pretty big I'm trying to find one in here okay so we can put that there and then I'm gonna get some sauce Go on top of that spaghetti squash. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right, what do you think? You think he's gonna like that? I hope so. All right, time to eat. 